What is good everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today I have something special for you guys. We got some custom WWE action figures that are works in progress here for the channel. I do have them being made currently right now by BEW Animations. A good friend of mine who has done many, many, many customs you have seen here on the channel. I mean, I, I've done a whole collection video about a year ago. I need to update that collection video on everything that he has ever done for me. It's literally, it's a, it's a lot of stuff. He's done a ton of stuff for me and I really appreciate them. And today, guys, we have uh, two very important and very awesome custom work in progress action figures that we're going to get into, guys. And let's go ahead and dive right into it. The first one, guys, is Luchasaurus, and the other one is Jungle Boy, a tag team featured in AEW. If you guys don't know who this is, if you don't watch AEW, it is obviously the new promotion that is starting up in the fall. They're going to be, you know, um, sort of just the first real competition for WWE on live television starting in the fall here, and I'm super excited. It's obviously been be being run by Cody Rhodes, the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, now, Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy are two of my favorite wrestlers in, in the company at the moment. AEW, uh, I would say that probably Kenny Omega is my top, but then Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy are definitely, you know, right there with the Bucks and all of them. I just think they're super entertaining. I love their gimmick. I love their tag team. I love everything about them. Uh, mainly Luchasaurus. I mean, I'm a big Jungle Boy fan as well, but Luchasaurus is my guy. If you guys don't know who these guys are, you can see on the screen there. And I have custom figures of these guys in the works by BEW, and we're going to go through um, those those guys right now we're going to literally run through what parts we're going to use for them i don't have them just yet they are works in progress as you can see by the photo there guys we are uh, we are currently working on the luchasaurus and you know what's kind of insane and kind of stupid is my idiot self um forgot to ask bew to send me a picture of the jungle boy he posted it on his instagram story but i'm a jackass and i completely forgot to screenshot the jungle boy whip that he put on his instagram story and he never posted a photo of it onto his timeline so so I cannot, uh, he, he is currently asleep right now and I cannot, you know, get it. But anyways, I'm very excited for this and we're just going to run through the parts choices that I've decided to use for these guys. And I guess we can start off with Luchasaurus. So you guys can see that Luchasaurus is a big man. The man is exactly six foot five and he is ginormous. This man is so big. It's kind of ridiculous how big he is. He is actually, like you can see by the photos, the man is just a gigantic man. And you would think that he's like six eight or something like that, but he's only 6'5", which isn't the tallest in the world, but it is pretty big. He, But you can see his shoulders, you can see his arms, his torso. He's just a big dude, right? And he's 6'5". And so um, what I'm thinking for this guy is uh, a few torsos here. You guys can see what torsos I'm thinking of right here. We have, of course, the Bobby Roode torso, the Network Spotlight Triple H torso, and the uh, Top Talent Seth Rollins, or just the regular Seth Rollins torso that they use nowadays with the hairy chest and the hairy stomach. I don't know why, but I really love love the Seth Rollins torso for him, especially when you look at that one photo, and in many photos of this guy, he has chest hair already, and I don't want to have to come in here with a pencil. I mean, if I have to, I will. The chest hair that Mattel puts on their figures, I really enjoy. I don't know why. I just think it looks really good. It looks realistic, and when you use a pencil, it's kind of too light, in my opinion, or something. I don't know what the deal is there, but I really like this torso. The only problem I have with it is that it may be a tad too short for uh, Luchasaurus, which is something that I'm trying to figure out at the moment. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. However, I am uh, I'm working on it right now. I would like to know down in the comment section below which one you think is the best. I also thought about using, you know, the Triple H torso, you know, that big gigantic torso, but I don't really like that torso. I don't know why. I really don't like that torso for anybody but Triple H and Batista and Ultimate Warrior, even though I think that Ultimate Warrior, Batista, and Triple H are probably the same size as Luchasaurus when you look at them. Uh, I think Triple H is six foot four I believe Batista is six foot five and then Ultimate Warrior I think is around the six four mark as well he could even be six five I'm not exactly sure what his height is but that is something that I'm working with there as far as shoulders I think I'm gonna go with Bobby Roode's shoulders for this guy Bobby Roode's shoulders are pretty big uh, they're bigger than than Seth Rollins shoulders and uh, the network spotlight shoulders that you'll find in the Triple H figure both of those are really small but the Bobby Roode shoulders are pretty freaking big and I think that if we got some uh, some jacked arms which I already know what arms I'm going to put on him. I'm going to put the NXT Target exclusive Seth Rollins arms on there. And I really like these arms. I think that it looks really good. And uh, you can, you can again, you can see his arms are absolutely massive. So that with the Seth Rollins torso and Bobby Roode shoulder should work pretty well. 
Uh, hopefully, that's what I'm thinking. I may end up using that massive Drew McIntyre or Triple H torso. I'm just not sure just yet. I don't know why I don't like that torso. I even switched out my Drew McIntyre NXT Target exclusive figure for the uh, the Seth Rollins style, Cesaro style torso because it just looks better in my opinion. I don't know why I like that one much more, but there is that. And then for the lower legs of Luchasaurus, I'm thinking, or for the crotch and you lower the part, I'm thinking the Seth Rollins crotch should work. Um, I think that that could be one that we use. Another uh, thing that I'm thinking is maybe the the uh, Elite 23 Triple H. Not only am I thinking about using the torso from that, but I think the upper legs on that figure will work well because it gives him good length. Uh, they're thicker legs, and you know Luchasaurus has long legs, and they're, they're big legs, obviously, because he's so big. And so I'm thinking that for the upper legs, and then the lower legs and knee pads, I'm thinking of either Elite. Elite 57, uh, Seth Rollins with the gold from WrestleMania 33 when he took on Triple H. You know, the Kingslayer attire, that gold. I'm thinking of getting those knee pads and those kick pads, uh, acetoning all the designs off, and then painting up the shoes is what I'm thinking of. Or I may use an extra Mustafa Ali knee pads and uh, kick pads to, uh, you know, acetone and stuff. Because you can see in these photos here, you can see the yellow color that they're kind of giving off. I thought they were more gold, but it looks like they may be a, t a certain yellow color. But I'm not sure. We'll have to see which one I like better. I would like to have green legs, you know, to, to work here. But I can't think off the top of my head any green legs figures that I could use to pop in here. If you guys have any down in the comment section below, if you have any ideas on what formulas to use here, I would really appreciate it. Here's a mock-up photo of all the parts that I use. And I know it looks pretty stupid but it's just sort of something I kind of threw together. Another thing, um, not only am I going to be, I, I forgot to include one thing here in this little mock-up image, is that I'm going to include the Elite Tatanka little uh, waistband deal, and I'm going to cut it to size and paint it up probably to stick on the Luchasaurus figure. I think that's what I'm thinking for Luchasaurus because I know that the mock-up image is missing the Tatanka uh, little rope thing, which I will pull up a picture of right beside it. The little brown piece that goes around his waist and in front of him, that is another other thing that I'll probably include because uh, that, that's what Luchasaurus wears, right? And I want it to be totally accurate. So I pro it'll probably end up being, once it's all said and done, I probably won't use any paint on this guy. I'll probably just acetone all the designs off and have uh, just black tights with gold knee pads and gold kick pads. That's what I'm thinking for the guy. Maybe he'll have some uh, black on his shoes to give him the, the kick pad look that he has. But as far as that's concerned, I think this is everything I'm thinking of for Luchasaurus at the moment. Uh, but we will have to see at the end result. Again, I'm still playing around with formulas. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want. And again, if you guys have any ideas, I would love to know down in the comment section below so that I can figure it out the best way possible. Get the height accurate and everything like that. I don't even know if this, this mock-up image would be height accurate. I'm not sure. I tried some trash Corbin thighs with this exact formula without the Bobby Roode shoulders and he looked kind of stubby like short so I need to in I need to make him a little bit taller so maybe we'll figure that part out but uh, moving on to Jungle Boy guys I think Jungle Boy is going to be a lot easier and I hate that I don't have the image of his freaking face that BEW is working on because it looks so great but I can pull up the head skin that we are using and it is the uh, the WrestleMania 33 Shawn Michaels or the uh, I feel like this this Shawn Michaels came out is this a re release i can't remember if this was a re-release but anyways it's this Shawn michaels head scan uh the one that we've seen on the wargreens exclusive dx Shawn michaels the one that we saw in the mania 33 Shawn michaels and so uh that is the head scan we're going to use he it looks beautiful he put it on a story i didn't screenshot it i'm so freaking stupid but nonetheless uh it looks really good he has the long hair sculpted he's got his sideburns sculpted on there and it literally looks just like jungle boy so that is the head scan that we're going to be using and that head scan is pretty good size i like it um but for the body that I'm thinking, I think we're going to be using the Elite 19 Shawn Michaels torso and shoulders. I think that this is going to be perfect. Also, the crotch, because they're plain black, I don't think that that'll be an issue or anything like that. I thought about using a more ripped up torso because, you know, Jungle Boy's pretty lean, um, but he's not, you know, he's so small. He's so skinny and, like, I, I would use the ripped up torso, but, like, I think that this, this is one of the guys that this torso works for because he's only 5'7 and he's pretty skinny, so I think that this will work. I don't think it's a big deal. I think that it will probably be one of the guys that actually works pretty well for this. So I'm actually not worried about that at all. I think it'll work perfectly. And for the legs, I know you're probably thinking, well, Brad, uh, this Shawn Michaels figure's legs are black. Yes, that is true. But I'm going to take the Elite Series 69 Champa legs, which are very short. You guys saw on Action Figure Surgery. They're very short. They're very. Uh, they're the same skin color as the uh, Shawn Michaels figure. And they have the boots on there. All we're going to do is pop off those Shawn Michaels legs, 
pop the Elite 69 uh, Chompa legs on there, and then we're going to add Cactus Jack boots to the Chompa legs, and I think that will give it a pretty good look to Jungle Boy. Another person I thought about was adding uh, Tatanka Elite boots. You know, the since I'm ordering an Elite Tatanka to get the little wrap around the waist of Luchasaurus, I think that the boots for Tatanka or from Tatanka could also work for Jungle Boy, and hopefully his height will be accurate. Um, I'm going to put him up to an, a Rey Mysterio because he's supposed to be about an inch or two taller than Rey Mysterio, so hopefully that will turn out right. But uh, that is what I'm working on. I still I still don't know what I'm going to do for arms it should be relatively easy though it's just like you know Shawn Michaels arms but with uh, regular skin tone hands and he has like some brown wrist gauntlets but I'll figure that out also the knee pads should be pretty easy I'll put regular knee pads on him so that he has pretty solid articulation and that should pretty much do it I think that about does it for the Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy figures I think that this will be good formulas I cannot wait to see what BEW does with both head sculpts as far as sculpt uh, not sculpting but painting I think that he's going to kill it and uh Again, I really am enjoying Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy and AEW, what they're doing so far. I can't wait to see what they look like on live television and see how they work. You know, uh, they're fantastic in the ring. I think they're great. Um, one thing that you'll probably say also is that Velveteen Dreams boots uh, have the same kind of look as Jungle Boy's, which is correct, but they are a little bit taller, and I don't really want to have to paint the Velveteen Dream boots. I feel like uh, that the white would probably chip pretty easily, and getting that brown and stuff in there would probably be kind of difficult. So I'll probably just go with the Cactus Jack since it kind of has that brown, leathery look to it, and I think that would be the best thing to do for him. Uh, but again, I cannot wait to see what you know BEW does with the painting skills in this. I think he's going to nail it, and so I'm going to get these hoes in here. We're going to finish them up. The only thing that I'm not looking forward to is the tattoos of Luchasaurus, which are going to be brutal. I don't know if I'm going to use decals, which are available on Curbstop City custom decals. I don't know if I'm going to use decals or if I'm going to hand paint them. I know hand painting them is probably going to be just a nightmare, but um, I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm going to do for that. I'm still working on that aspect of it. I'm not sure exactly, but also uh, the decals, I think he, he wants like $20 for them at the moment, and I don't know if I want to spend that at the moment, so maybe there may be just a delay because I really do want to use the decals, but I don't know if I want to spend $20 right now on just decals for Luchasaurus, but we'll see how it goes and everything like that, but that is pretty much it, guys. Again, I would love to know your thoughts on the formula you think I should use for these guys down in the comment section below. Again, huge fans of both. I think they're fantastic. I think Luchasaurus is super talented. Just His entering style is so athletic and for his size. It's ridiculous ridiculous the way that this man can go in the ring but uh that is going to do it for today's video guys we got SummerSlam tonight expect a review straight after SummerSlam the uh, uh, the review will be uploaded we'll go through the entire card rundown um are you guys excited for Seth Rollins attire you know that Seth Rollins is going to burn it down he's going to bring out some new attire for SummerSlam he always does and I'm excited for that so uh that's probably one of the biggest things I'm most excited for tonight at SummerSlam and I'll probably get a custom going uh starting on Monday morning I'm sure and work through uh you know what Whatever, and, and get that figure done for you guys since I have so many elite custom Seth Rollins but that is going to do it for today's video guys again SummerSlam tonight super hyped for it but I'm going to get out of here again comment down below what you think of all the different parts choices what do you think I would love to know uh, subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video thank you